Get you up to speed this morning. Having a car slam into your home and then spark a fire. Not exactly the way you want to wake up in the middle of the night, but that's exactly what happened in this North Phoenix neighborhood. Police say a car didn't make it around a curve and then slammed into a home near 31st Avenue in Yorkshire. Luckily, the fire department was able to keep the fire confined to the garage. That accident is currently under investigation. The Arizona legislature working on a bill that would make it a crime for people to, who conduct voter registration drives to be paid on the number of voters they sign up. Because let's be honest, that doesn't really make sense. Republicans in the House approved the measure on a party line vote yesterday, saying it would prevent fraud. Democrats say the measure is actually intended to suppress voter turnout. The former medical transport driver convicted of stealing Arizona, stealing from Arizona's Medicaid agency is on his way to prison. 72-year-old David Henry Meyer of Tucson pleaded guilty to those charges. An investigation found that Meyer had been submitting false records and defrauding the Arizona health care cost containment system to the tune of more than $100,000. The Arizona Supreme Court is upholding the conviction of a woman who faked cancer in order to pay for her abortion. Shalise Zaitner, she was convicted last year of fraud after she faked having uterine cancer in order to get the state to pay for her late-term abortion. She said that she presented falsified records to try to show that her pregnancy put her life in danger. California Republican Congressman Devin Nunez is suing Twitter and several of its users for more than $250 million. Nunez is accusing them of defamation and negligence. However, a federal act provides internet services with immunity from liability for material posted by its users. Oh, Randy Johnson finally sold his home. That mansion off the market. A mystery buyer snagged the sprawling estate in an auction. So the home, which had been up for sale for years, sold for $7.3 million in an auction that started in January back in 2014. The former D-back listed the home for $25 million then. So what's in this beautiful home? We'll take a look. A full gym, basketball and tennis court, trophy room, wine cellar, secret garden, plus a movie theater, complete with a box office. It, what, <laughs> I, I have a hard time with this one because when I look at Randy Johnson, in times that I've talked to him, he's just very, you know, quiet -ish. He's not an extravagant fellow. Yeah, and then you look at his home and you're like, my goodness. No wonder he sold it. Yeah. And there was no place to throw a baseball, so it's okay. something he likes to do. He had to.